Logic gates are the fundamental building blocks of digital circuits. Most electronic devices use some form of logic gate like smartphones, gaming consoles or computers and many more. I wanted to teach my computer science students how logic gates work. But the textbook does not show how a simple logic gate can be made practically with simple electronic components. So I thought there should be some practical way of understanding logic gates. So I started my search on the internet and I came across a few logic gate learning boards priced at such a high price. Look at this one here, $27. So that is when I decided to make my own logic gate learning board. How hard could it be, right? Just open EasyAira and make something. Easy. 2000 years later. After many failed attempts of wrong placement or putting components too close to each other, making it impossible to solder, I finally made this. Wait, 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 wait. I need to explain to you how a logic gate works before we can look at this. Let's look at the simple circuit together. Here we have two switches, A and B, and one LED. Now, if I close the first switch A, we see nothing happens. But when I close switch B, the LED comes on. This is simple logic here. We know this LED will only be on if both switch A and B is closed to allow the current to flow. Now, we can represent a closed switch as true or 1 when the energy is allowed to flow or an open switch as a 0 or false since no energy is flowing. Using this knowledge, we can create a truth table. Here are all the possible states our switch can be and we can see the output is only 1 when both A and B is 1 as we saw in our circuit. This is the logic gate AND and it is represented by the following symbol. Let's look at another logic gate together. Here again we have two switches, A and B. Now if I close switch A, we see the LED comes on. And if I close switch B, the LED stays on. Now if I open switch A and I keep switch B closed, we see the LED stays on as well. Constructing a truth table, we get the following results. We see that the LED is only off when both A and B is zero. This is known as the logic gate OR and we can represent it with the following symbol. I know these concepts are straightforward and we are just turning switches on and off with our hands. But how does this happen inside the computer? For that, we use the almighty transistor. There are many different kinds, but they all work on the same principle. Here we have the 2N222 transistor, a common NPN BJT used for general purpose low power amplifying or switching applications. When you provide the voltage to the base, it closes the circuit between the two other pins, collector and emitter. Let's look at the simulation together. In this simulation, we are turning an LED on and off using a transistor. To supply a voltage to the base, I need to close the switch and this will allow current to flow from the collector to the emitter. Your computer can do this with billions of transistors. I made six different logic gates here, which you can check in the link down below if you want to go through the simulation to yourself. I decided to make the NOT, AND, OR, XOR, NOR and NAND gates for my learning board. Using these simulated gates, it was as simple as recreating them in easy error. After I finished the board, I ordered it from a local company here, which parent company is JLPCB. It is an awesome company because they do send you 5 PCBs free if it is less than 10 by 10 mm. If you want the Gerber files to this board, you can download it from my GitHub page for a low low price of one subscription to my channel. Now back to the PCB. You will need a few cheap components, a few transistors, LEDs, resistors, buttons, voltage regulator, capacitor and a diode. To solder it is very simple and there are so many videos online. There are also many guides regarding to safety but what I found the best is that small amounts of fumes won't kill you but just in case make sure you have good ventilation and goggles. All the components are labeled but if you are unsure there is an instructable which will show you the correct orientation of all the components. Here is the finished 
project, the free dollar board that you can use to teach your students about the different types of logic gates. All the inputs are currently zero on this board unless the button is pressed to allow current to flow to the gate of the transistor. Giving this board a quick test and comparing them to the truth table, we say everything is working as it should. Now that we have a nice looking board to practice our soldering and construct simple logic gates with transistors, you are probably wondering, where will I use logic gates in my daily life? It might come as a surprise to you, but you use logic gates every single day without knowing. Computer programs use logic constantly to check certain conditions in our program that will determine an output. In analog electronics, we can construct many OR gates connected to motion sensors to build a simple alarm system where if motion is triggered, it will send a high output OR1 to the alarm speaker driver. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you.